High wind last week made the home with windows falling from their frames and gaping holes in the roof even more of a danger to the community. We appreciate uh, the attention. But after neighbors on New Hampshire Avenue called WUSA 9 for help, crews with the Department of Buildings showed up and boarded up the property. If you just board it up, that's fine. But if you're not checking to see what's wrong or what potential issues could come up, then that's a big big problem. Look at this house. It's really not okay. It's it's endangering people and it makes the neighborhood look bad. You got houses going for a million dollars around here. It is a concern, public space and private space, but I think that when a lot of voices are keep raising concern that there's a public safety issue, we can't afford to have a catastrophe. Former advisory neighborhood commissioner Paul Johnson lives nearby and said neighbors avoided a catastrophe when a major gas leak led the fire department to condemn the building last month. But residents had been complaining of the condition for years, worried about the elderly residents inside who have since moved. There's a lot of elderly residents here. There's a lot of uh, development happening and we want uh, proactive measures taken. It's not important to them. This is important to our neighborhood. I live here. I've been 46 years and I ain't going nowhere. But I want to be safe while I am here. According to the Department of Buildings, there are over 4,000 vacant properties around the city, nearly 300 also deemed blighted or a danger to the community. We've been reaching out to DOB for two weeks now and still no update on the property status, except, of course, for the crews who arrived just days after our first report. Neighbors say the next step, continued advocacy for more oversight of construction projects and protection of existing properties to keep homeowners and community members safe. In Petworth, Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.